What's up everybody? It's Big Roth TV and I'm back with another video. All right. Now, these just arrived today. All right. These are the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2. All right. They literally just got dropped off from FedEx. So I took them out the box and I brought them upstairs. All right. Set everything up. Said, let's get ready to go. Google Pixel Buds Pro 2 porcelain colorway. All right. Includes wireless earbuds, charging case, full access to features require an Android 6.0 device, Google account, internet connections, blah, 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 all of that. All right. These are the original Pixel Buds Pro and also in that grayish kind of the porcelain colorway. All right, so we're gonna get into this one and we're gonna check them out. We're gonna compare them. We're gonna see how they look compared to each other. All right, and I got this as well, maybe a week or so ago, I had some points from Best Buy and it made it free. So this is the Google 45 watt charger. All right, I did not think this required a video. I do have it. It does exactly what it needs to do. I got it because the wireless charger doesn't work with the uh, Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. So I just use this now to charge my 9 Pro Fold, all right? No need to bring that in and do a full video. It does what it says it does, charges the phone nicely, okay? Put that to the side. And this is my Google Pixel tablet. Does anybody still use theirs? Anybody still still using this? I definitely still use it mostly in bed, you know? Let me unlock that off camera. So yeah, I'm definitely still using mine, but you know, normally when I'm laying in the bed with the wife and we're just, you know, relaxing, I'll grab this, watch a show or something while I'm scrolling on, you know, social media or whatever. Still works like a charm, works exactly the way that you would want it to work. Just the normal tablet for for searching social media and, you know, watching some videos. That's exactly what a tablet is for, for me. All right, so let me put this to the side. I just wanted to show the the ecosystem here, like the full, the full ecosystem. Of course, you know, I got my Pixel Watch 3, the, the 45 millimeter version. And then of course, this is all connected to the Google Pixel, nine pro fold good lord panthers come on now come on panthers make this a game man don't don't go down two touchdowns but anyway pixel nine pro fold here so let's go ahead and take the new buds out of the box all right you go here just like all of google's products you rip this off put that to the side and now you slide it out, put that up there. This is what it looks like on the front. All right, boom, side. And now we go ahead and slide that out, put that to the side. Here are the buds, same style case. Let's see anything in the back here, open this out. Okay, so these are gonna be your tips right here extra small small large let's see let's open that up so yeah those are your extra tips in the event that you would like to switch out normally the size that are in there work for me so i don't often change those definitely would be too big i got some big ears but those would be too big even for me so let me get this out this is your instructions of and everything manuals on how to properly use it but nobody ever reads those put those back in there and actually i'm gonna put the tips in there as well because i'm banking on the fact that those are gonna fit correctly all right so let's get the paper off of it comes off here and nope that's not how it went but whatever and then boom here we are here we are 
All right, it's a little more matte than the previous year. This was kind of a glossy um, case. So this one's a little more matte. Looking at them, comparing the sizes and everything. Size-wise, they're about the same. Then let's look around on the back. Same pairing button on both. All right, and then we go down to the bottom. Now we have, in addition to the USB-C power charging slot there, now you have a, a, a speaker grill, so you can use it for Find My, all right? You can find your device there. And now we open them up. Let's go ahead and get the open. Go ahead and get these paired, and me not keep looking at this Bengals and Panthers score before I get disappointed, all right? So, boom. Let's see if it automatically detects them. There they are. You can see that right there, Pixel Buds Pro 2. Pixel Buds Pro 2 will appear on devices linked with my email there. So let's go ahead and connect it. And they are instantly connected. Instantly connected, that fast. All right, keep track of Pixel Buds Pro 2. Add Pixel Buds Pro 2 to find my devices so you can locate the device even when it's disconnected. Wireless headphones must be outside the charging case. The device's location will be encrypted and only visible to you. All right, let's go ahead and add them to that. Use responsibly, blah, 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 blah. Must adhere to agree. All right, adding to find my device. And while that's doing that, man, I did that so quick, I couldn't even get to the next point. All right, so that's already done. Set up device. Your device is ready to be set up. Go ahead and set that up. Connect this app to your Pixel Buds. Pixel Buds app requires nearby device permission to locate and connect to your Pixel Buds. Cool. Allow that. Yep. Welcome to your Buds. Favorite media and digital assistant at your fingertips. Get started. Legal terms. Yep. Add. Yep. Try on your Buds. All right, let's take them out. So the first thing, let's look at them. They are definitely smaller. The speakers um, on the top are a little bit bigger. If you can see those speakers here, those are those are bigger than the ones on the original Pro uh, Pixel Buds Pro. Yep, but the size is definitely smaller. So let me go ahead and try it on. I do like that it has that wing there on the side to try to help keep it more in your ear. Let's see. Or maybe I need to go that way. Boom. All right, we're in. And then here is the right. Okay, so now we're in on both sides. And let me bring you all in so you can see how they fit in my ear. All right, so here is the fit in the ear. They do fit pretty comfortable. Let me go back down a little bit right there. They are fitting pretty comfortable. Let me shake a little bit. Nothing's wiggling. It doesn't even feel like it wants to wiggle. It doesn't even feel like it wants to come out. Right there. So let me try the other side. Shake. Nothing from the right side either. Doesn't look like it wants to come out either. So I'd say the fit is pretty good. All right, try on your earbuds. Make sure the G logo faces out and is upright. So out and upright. Twist to secure the stabilizer. Each ear might need a different size ear tip. I think these feel pretty good. Next, check your ear tip seal for the best sound. Get the most effective noise cancellation. All right, check now. Make sure you're in the choir environment and earbuds feel secure when you move your head. Yep. Sample audio will play for a few seconds. All right, let's start. Yep. That sounds pretty good. Yep, your earbuds sound great. You can check your earbud seal at any time. All right, that's done. Learn touch controls, swipe forward. All right. 
swipe forward raises volume okay so you can see the volume right there going up because I'm swiping forward swipe backwards lowers the volume you can see that going down there on the screen press and hold for active noise control assistant you press and hold all right single tap play and pause Music is back on now, or you can answer your phone call. Double tap, boom, boom. Next track, or you can reject the phone call. Triple tap, previous track. Let's try that. All right, and then previous track. All right, so next, stay up to date. Nah, blah, blah, blah. No, don't send me emails. All right. Meet. Gemini, your personal assistant. Yep. I don't want you to read my notifications to me. And then customize active. Then that. I might change this later for the digital assistant. But right now, I like the way that it is. So I'm going to swipe that away. Actually, I'm going to do it on the left ear, but yeah. Pixel Buds Pro 2 are now ready. And we're done. All right, so here we are with those. And everything is set up. So let me turn on some different music and see how that sounds. Something with a little more bass and not uh, giving you the best that I got by Anita Baker. Let's play this genius track by Chris Calico. All right, sounds pretty good. Nice and and punchy. I don't know if they're necessarily better sounding than, well, they do sound a little bit more clear. And I don't even have them all the way up right now. Close, but not all the way. Now, let me take these out just real quick. I'm gonna take them out my ear and wipe them down real quick and then put it back in there. I do like that they uh, they seem to fit a little bit better into the case. Now let me put the original ones back in my ear. Put that in, boom. And then here's this one. And let me play this exact same song and let me turn it up a little bit. I think the the new ones sound a little bit more clear. I think they sound a little more crisp. Let me go to the buds settings because every I think I have the settings on the ambient so that every time I talk it's, it's stopping it the transparency. Let me turn that off. All right, so Right now, I feel like the new ones sound a little bit more crisp. The bass right now on the original sounds more thumpier than me, uh, to me than those. The sound preference, I, I don't know. I feel like these sound a lot more crisp and clear. That's the best way I can put that, is that these sound a lot more crisp, but the bass sounds a little bit harder on the original ones. That's my initial impressions. Let me switch back, take those out, put that to the side here. And let me take out the new ones. So just for size comparison here, here is the original. And you see this a big bean shape. Let me get the, right, the, the left one, compare each one's left. Here's the original. And here is the new one, all right? The new one is a lot smaller than the original, but you see you have that fin there on the new that you didn't have here, which I always kind of felt like when I was at the gym or on the treadmill or something, that these might slip out my ear and I was always kind of adjusting them to put them back in the ear. So I do like that that's there 
but it's going to take some time to see if I actually prefer these or if it was even worth me um, buying them versus just keeping these. So I'm put these back in and now I'm just, it seems like these connect quicker than those, the, the, the Pixel Buds Pro 2, they connect quicker than these. Sometimes when you take these out of the case and you put them in your ear, it takes maybe, you know, five to 10 seconds before they start playing. Unlike something like the, the Galaxy Buds Pro 2, the new Galaxy Buds Pros, you put those in your ear, you're instantly connected. You put the OnePlus Buds in your ear, you're instantly connected. These took, you know, maybe five to 10 seconds before they actually will give you that notification that they're playing. So let me turn some music back on. Yeah, it just sounds so much more crisp. The sound is a little bit better on the new ones, but the bass isn't hitting as hard. I'm not, uh, maybe I haven't adjusted. I think I might've adjusted something. Let me see if I can adjust the bass sound here. Let's see if I turn up, let's see light bass. No, nope, that didn't really do anything. Let's say heavy bass. Oh, there it is. There it is. Heavy bass, heavy bass, and now they're equal. They are equal in sound now that I put the heavy bass on. So I must have done, let me see if I did that on the other ones. Take this out. Oh man. All right, so let me take that out, put that back in there. Okay. So that song that I'm listening to, if you see the new iPhone commercials, you know exactly what I'm listening to. At the end of those commercials, they play that song, Genius by Chris Calico. All right, so let me see. I'm going to put this in. Let me check the sound on these buds, original buds. Let me see my sound. Okay, go to, yep, heavy bass is on here as well. So that's probably what it was. I have heavy bass set on here, but I didn't have it set on the new ones. So now they sound about equal as far as the bass, but I think the regular sound sounds a little more crisp on the new ones as opposed to the older version. I think the fit is better on the new Pixel Buds Pro 2 as opposed to these. I like the matte finish versus this glossy. So I'm gonna test them out. I'm gonna listen to them a little bit more and see which ones I like better and see if it's even worth it to actually keep these. Let me put these back, take the originals out. Royce the 5.9 is blasting in my ear right now. Put that over here and then I'll put these back in and I'm, I'm gonna give these uh, uh, a, a, a little bit of testing and see how they fit in my ear and and see how they instantly the it gives you the notification when you put them in boom they're on they're in we're working so let me go and put royce back on sounds better on the new ones it sounds a lot better on the new ones as far as this the clarity it sounds more clear now that i turned on the heavy bass that bass is thumping and it sounds clear I'm gonna shake my head, shake my head so I can see. It doesn't feel like my ears, they're gonna fall out my ears at all. So yeah, man, as of right now, it feels like these were worth the upgrade as far as the sound quality. I'll have to test them out, say at the gym or when I go on my walks around the neighborhood and see if they actually indeed fit better. But right now, I'm gonna give the slight edge to the Pixel Buds Pro 2. All right. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate it. More content is on the way. And I'll holler at you all in the next video. Let me check the score. Let me check the score. Dang it. Dang it, Panthers.
Peace.